Hi, my name is Kat and this is Our Home on the Ridge and in today's video we have the maintenance video finally on the Harvest Right uh, standard or oil pump, whatever you call it. It goes on the small and medium um, Harvest Right freeze dryers and what you can expect in this video is you'll see Ricky um, taking apart the whole pump, cleaning it, maintaining it, and then I'm going to put a little blurb to some of the tools that he's using because Ricky's all about customization, modification, and um, being ergonomic when uh, using any sort of tool. And then also you'll see a blurb at the end of Ricky kind of recapping like super important things just to remember it's just a few seconds um, when maintaining your pump. And then um, most of these things I'm going to try to link in our description anything we talk about today and then I also have a, one more link it's called buy me a coffee and it's just one way to support our channel um, and support our projects because if you have been following we just got chickens we're building a chicken coop we have to redo our driveway we've got to make a garden <laughs> raise beds and do this all on a budget um, so we really appreciate every time you guys watch our videos and you like or subscribe or even just comment the comments are like rich like we absolutely love that I know that it gets us in the algorithm we have great conversation so actually today if you guys want to leave a comment on uh, you know maybe some things you've learned or um, you know because I know there's gonna be a lot out there there's a lot of information about harvest right freeze dryers and how to maintain them or just all the things you can do with them so if you have any kind of comments about it please leave them we are learning at the same time as we're also trying to show you guys what we've learned so um, thank you so much and enjoy the video did you make this pipe right here what pipe? this are uh, did you is yeah. that your modification Okay. I figured I'd throw this on the screen right in the beginning. Here are the specifications for the pump that we are going to be talking about today and cleaning. And what was really interesting on this, uh, the Harvest Right website, I went to compare pumps, which you'll see in just a second. And it says that the oil pump or the standard pump should be cleaned every four to five batches. But most people, once they've broken in the pump, are changing it every 30 batches, which is what Ricky does now. But he did mention when he first got the standard pump, it was it would get very dirty very fast. So he said he was changing it every four to five batches. And you'll see if you get um, a Harvest Right freeze dryer and you use the standard, it gets very dirty very quickly in the beginning. Yeah, I'm just kind of grabbing some stuff. So this sock helps for when you start it? The fumes. The fumes? From when you start it or just in general? In, when you start it. When you start it? When you start it. Fumes come out of here. Yeah. You just put some sort of covering on it. My old sock. <laughs> okay, and then you got this back here. All right. But what it does, are you. And it helps get the rest of the oil out of it. A lot of people put a block back there when they're ready to drain it. And they lift up the back and put a block under. But I'm just too lazy. I want to pump it up. <laughs> well, it's actually more ergonomic, to be honest. Just to have something where you can pump it up as little yep. instead of having to always take it in and out. Nice. Here's a little clip I added of where Ricky got the air shim. He got his off Amazon, but I'm sure you could get one off eBay. Just, you know, go ahead and just search air shim, and these things are very ergonomic and make it a lot easier. It came off the. Yeah, that's all right. 
We can put it back on. You can show it. Oh yeah, let me see. It's an air sham. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, get an Allen wrench, but make sure it's a long one. I couldn't find the exact Allen wrench that Ricky was using, but I believe it is a four millimeter um, T Allen wrench, and you just want to make sure it's long enough to go around the pump. And the reason why you want a long one like this is because it's a tight fit in there. Right. You got that shoe. I'm going to get You want to try to get as much oil out as possible. When you're, and how often do you have to do this process? I used to do it all the time, but since the machine's broken in, it's, it's it hasn't been... Okay. So like every, what, like 30 batches or something now, you think? Or? Yeah. How long do you think it took you to break in the machine? A couple months. Okay, you got to make sure all... That this ring is doing okay. Because okay. that's like a gasket. And then basically just wipe this out. That's what I save old paper towels for. That's a good idea. And you can see there's not that much dirt. I've had it where I've, I've had to wash it out with hot water and the thing inside there was all dirty, the, the window. You want to see in there? Yeah. There we go. And so what is that part? That's the um, demister. Okay. That, there. Now I'll, I'll take that apart in a minute and show you. Okay. Dirty yeah. that is. Yeah, let me get close. Up, kinda. There we go. I forgot I had one. Okay. And then you can do the demister. That might work. Okay. Let me see. See how rusted that is. Right. That's because the. To Mister, it um, water when water vaporizes out of the oil, it goes up to the Mister, and that's why you're getting the rust there. Okay. So then you just wipe it off, or? Well, I'm gonna see what's probably. all that rust from it. Yeah. Okay, so this is yeah. What you do, you inspect this part for any rust or anything else. And you just clean it off. This 
So you just make sure this is, sometimes they get a lot of rust in here because you are dealing with water. But this is actually pretty clean. And I'm down all at, I mean, all at once. You gotta do them. That's right, yeah. You have to put them all in, tighten them, but not mm -hmm. all the way down until they're all in. And then you... Then you go and torque them a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't take a lot. And then you have to use Dairyland oil? You don't have to. No. Oh, okay. I use it because it's... It can be used on this pump, for one thing. Mm -hmm. It can't be used on any other pump. Oh. And it cleans it. It cleans the, um, the oil. It's got a detergent in it. Dairyland oil does. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. So here's the Dairyland oil that Ricky uses. There's always a little bit of controversy with the Dairyland oil that I found in the um, freeze drying community. So everyone has their own opinions on it, but it works really well for Ricky. And he's able to filter it almost perfect. And one gallon of this um, lasts him a pretty long time. I also wanted to mention that you can get this at Tractor Supply. That's where I found this listing. And honestly, you can get it from Amazon too. I just like to find other places that you can get products other than Amazon. So that. Yeah, good luck there. Luckily, you're not strong enough. Yeah. The most important thing to end this video is good maintenance. Keep your oil clean. Try to keep water out of it and always take care of it. The final thing today is if you press this B in Harvest Right, it will give you all your statistics of your machine. Standard, punt standard pump. Um, batches completed, hours, I did 100, 196 times I've ran batches, 4,343 4, hours, pump hours 36 12. So the, the difference between the pump hours and the system hours is when you're defrosting it. Mm -hmm.